If you've been following me on X, then you know that I've been working on a browser MMO again. And it's going to be kind of like a mix between Diablo 4, Vampire Survivors, and I don't know, probably like an old school MMO. And uh, so this is what I got going on so far. Anyway, I started looking for some code I made a while back, and I stumbled across this folder, which is full of my old Game Maker projects. So I just thought I'd do a video and kind of uh, show you just some old projects from the last 10 years or so. Now, I thought the coolest one that I found was Drawtopia, which was the first online game that I ever actually made. And this was on January 3rd, 2009. This is back when uh, everyone was using 39DLL. I don't know if you uh, used Game Maker long enough to remember that. But this was the first uh, online game that I had working. And uh, I, I don't remember how to run everything, but I have the source files too. But I remember having my sister test this on another computer, and it's just like you're drawing. And me and her got on here, and we drew a little bit, and I was so excited. I was running through the house, like, shouting. Because I was trying to learn networking for a whole year. And I would, like, read tutorials every single day, and I couldn't get my mind wrapped around it. And uh, if, if you know anything about, like, just me when I was a teenager, I had cancer. And I was like laying in the hospital bed reading about how to do networking and all this stuff. And this was my first game. I was, uh, I was still 18 years old at that time, 2009. And this was, my, this was the first online whatever. And uh, I mean, you just load right into the online world. So this is why I'm able to play right now. Uh, it's not like actually online while I'm talking. But it does work. I just have to install an old version of Game Maker to get the server going. From there, I made a game called Buildtopia. This was my first online game. This was in July 3rd, 2009. And it was basically to kind of clone a game that I'd seen on the Game Maker forums that was just like it, but I wanted to make it a little bit better. So I made a single player and a multiplayer version, and here it is, Buildtopia. You're this little blob that my friend made, and uh, you could place blocks and do all this crazy stuff. And uh, the best part was you, you were able to play online with your friends. So I had... Um, I had some forms made at the time, and I posted it on there and on my website. And yeah, we were we were rolling. It was it was a lot of fun. We actually had a pretty good community for the time. And again, this is way back in 2009, so it wasn't like these games, uh, like you came across them every day. Online games where you could just build. I mean, 2009 was probably I think Minecraft came out that year. So these online building games were still kind of like a, a new thing, I guess. Uh, but yeah, so what happened with Buildtopia was a company, or I don't even know what it is, a small business named Buildtopia got so butthurt that I named the game Buildtopia, when well, that's the name of their business, that they actually contacted me and sent a cease and desist order. <laughs> like they couldn't handle that. You know, some kid out there named their game Buildtopia. I never even heard of them. So from there, I changed it to Blobulus. And uh, I'll open that one next. Okay, so Buildtopia turned into Blobulus, specifically Blobulus Online. And so I have these three files here, a launcher, uh, online version, and all of that. But uh, here's the offline version. So, you know, it kind of formed over, over the years. This was in 2010, about a year later. And, uh, yeah, it kind of turned into this. I think this was when Particle Effects came out for Game Maker, so I started playing around with that. And, uh, and these tutorials, that's probably a little bit much, but then I added resources to the game, so, you know, built, putting blocks down actually cost you something. And uh, yeah, I kind of basically turned into this. Uh, I was going to make the, uh, the offline version kind of like a quest world where you would go and collect different types of blocks that you could start to place. So I'm already out of resources. Um, but yeah, so it kind of turned into, turned into this. Okay, I'm collecting resources right now. That looks so bad <laughs> um so I, oh yeah i had added this elevator which was really cool uh, and all of this worked online and so there was like this and then i added a gold version where you could pay five dollars and then you would have different hats and uh there were different color blobs and there's all these customization features and there's a lot more blocks on the on online version than the offline like a lot more and uh yeah it was it was such a cool game for the time but that's all. It never really went anywhere further after this. Well, actually, no. No, it did. I made a, I made a browser version once HTML5 came out. 
So this is in 2012. This is Blobulus 1.5, which is basically Blobulus, the original game, but it's uh, yeah, it's it's in the browser. So I just completely remade the engine, and uh, I, this was back when I was waiting for WebSockets to actually come out, um, and then I was going to make this all online and whatnot. And I think it's a little buggy because I used to be able to have a lot more blocks here, so I don't know what's going on. But uh, yeah, this was just kind of like a browser game, and. There was, uh, there was some kind of way you could make accounts, and it would, I don't remember how, but I think there's like a score system, and I think I, I, think I added some kind of high score uh, thing that you could check out uh, in the game. But yeah, so here's the browser version. Then we exit and can go to about. This has the whole history, so you could see some of the screenshots from the online. Uh, there's a Mega Man and just different things. And Oh yeah, I forgot there was a 2008 version right here. I don't know if you could see it very well. Um, but there, it was a robot shooting out blocks, and then my friend made a blob. I totally forgot about that. Uh, and then it went over to 2009. So, yeah, I guess I had an offline version in 08, way before I made that first online system. And then there's the outfits right there. Uh, and then here's one of the first online experiences, which the chat was like a JavaScript chat built into the game that needed a web browser extension. It, it was pretty crazy. So, uh, yeah, pretty cool. And then someone who uh, subscribed to the channel made this background. All right, so that's enough of Blobulus. So I grew up on games like Ski Free, and back in, I don't know, 2007, I had made this game, and then I remade it in 2013 as a browser game with HTML5, where you run around and uh, you catch the skiers and you eat them. And I know this had a high score system built into it, but... Uh, you know, it, it basically, you're gaining experience every time you eat something, and then you could uh, you can do different power ups and get faster or uh, gain more ways to eat the different skiers. And this thing was just so this this thing was so cool. Okay, so I just leveled up, so I can uh, I can choose what I want to do here, and uh, and so yeah, you would you would want to get faster at things. You could throw rocks at the skiers, and it would mess them up, uh, and then you could catch them. But the faster you got at it, uh, the, the potentially higher score that you got. And of course, you had a hunger bar in the top left. If you ran out, you would, uh, you would die. Here was the original version uh, before the browser game. This is back in like 08, I believe, 07. And you would catch them, and then there was different animations. Of course, this is like my little teenage kid brain making these horrifically gory animations where you rip their legs off and like... <laughs> do all this crazy stuff to him, and uh, <laughs> it's kind of disturbing now that I think back about it, but uh, yeah. So I think there's still videos of this game on the channel, which was an online mi multiplayer survival game. I got really in the rust, and then so I made this, which I got very far in this game, and then all the files got corrupt because I put them in Dropbox for some stupid reason, and, and it messed all the files up, but... Um, I, I still have some of the source files, but, you know, it'd be better to just show a screenshot of it. Last thing I'll show you, and I have many more games, was something I did put a lot of my heart and soul into, which was an online multiplayer paintball game. And uh, there was an offline version. I had mods, which was insane. I had, uh, I mean, I could talk about this for an hour. I had graphics packs and skins for the UI. All of it worked. There was a fully working map editor. Now these sprites I didn't make. Uh, what it, all of these I kind of ripped from a game, based uh, off. Uh, it, basically, there's this guy that inspired me to do game dev back in like 2004. Uh, Zoop Tech. I encourage you to go look up its stuff. But he had a game called Paintball 3 Extreme, and so I wanted to remake it because that game wasn't really functional anymore. And so uh, yeah, I did it. I think you can load a map here. Maps. Yeah. Okay. Awesome. So I mean, th this was. Crazy! All of this map editor, I, I made this uh, from from scratch, and uh, there's spawn points, and all of this worked online very, very well. Um, we can play offline. Uh, you could load in uh, the the different maps. Uh, so when one of the games were over, it would go to the next map. There were different game types: capture the flag, team elimination. All of this worked very well. Uh, of course, it wasn't finished. Then you could load your player. There was like RPG elements to uh, to the game. So, yeah, here we go. Here we are. So it wasn't totally finished, but man, it went a long, a long way. And uh, so 
and there's a little turret there. Uh, man, I would really like to remake this one day because it was so cool. Such a cool game. Um, let's see. There's a smoke grenade, flashbang. Here's some landmines. Takes a minute to like activate, but um, yeah, man, this was so cool. Uh, so anyway, yeah, the online, I never, I never got that fully working, and that's why I stopped with this. But um, yeah, Paintball Extreme, such a cool game. So anyway, that's it. That's all I have for you today. Uh, follow me on X, x.com slash wizardy. If you want me to make another one of these videos where I show you some of my games that I've made throughout the years, uh, I could definitely do that. Just let me know in the comments. And, uh, and that's it. I'll see you next time.